Hello everybody. Today I'm playing a game called um, Spells in Secrets. Uh, it's by R uh, R R Rotocon. Rotocon. Um, it's the same K the same developing company that did the pirate game. Uh, I'm kind of I don't normally like this developer. Because the last game they developed, I, I did not enjoy. It was a glitchy mess, and I, I didn't like it. But this is one of their newer games. It's already out. I'm just playing the demo. Um, it's 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 okay. It reminds it reminds me a bit of Harry Potter and Hogwarts and that. But it's a it's a roguelike game, and basically you've got to go through the castle. And see how far you get. You go through a few floors. You verse a boss. The boss defeats you. You start again. It's basically it's, it's a roguelike. So it'll, this will almost probably not be a, a long video like my normal just play videos. It depends on how far I can get with the game. This game I've played a little bit of, and it's 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 okay. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a fan of roguelikes, so I, I don't really like roguelike games. But I'm going to try it out and show you it. So let's begin. Game came out on the 9th of November. Okay, this is the character creator. It's it's very basic, but you can. You can, it's, oh yeah, this game single player or co-op, so you can play with another person if you don't want to play by yourself, um, and you can customize your character accordingly. You just click on the head, and then it'll give you all the other options. Like you can choose what eyebrows your character wants. It's pretty straightforward character customization. There isn't much to add, but like I said, it is a demo. I don't know what the full version has to offer. Like I said, me and, and this developer have not always been on the best of terms. The original game they did called Stranded Sales, I didn't like. So I, I'm kind of nearly about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really like the developers. I'm not saying I'm going to absolutely hate on their game. I, I just originally when I I played I played this the, the first game I did not enjoy it. But this one seems a little bit better. It says body shape and it's got weird colours to what is body shape is strange. Like I said, it is a demo. Nice poses. So when he's idle, he stands like that. Okay, I think I've completed that. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we've got hairstyle. There is quite a quite a quite a bit of um, customization readily available. So that is a good thing. Even though you've, you've, even for a demo, there's quite a lot of customization available. Oh, some of these hairstyles are crazy. <laughs> Side cut.
make my character look like a Harry Potter character. <laughs> uh, I don't like the glasses, they're a bit too big for the face. We'll leave it without glasses for now. <laughs> Nice selection of school uniforms here. Yeah. yeah, you're basically going to this wizard school. Very similar to Harry Potter in that. But the school's been overrun by something and they want you to try and save it. <laughs> yeah, and you can have multiple player, multiple characters um, that you can play as. I've actually already started this game, so I've already got a pre-made character. But because I'm doing a video on it, I'm going to make a new character. I'm going to call him Jason. No, oh, can make him extremely skinny, extremely muscular. Let's go ahead in between. <laughs> See, there's my previous character over here. Okay, your character does run a bit strangely. Good evening, you must be Jason. Welcome to the Academy of Griftenstein. My name is Professor Amanda Ventara, and I am in charge of new arrivals like you. You are late, but don't worry, I used to be late all the time. Ha 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 ha. It is with great joy that I introduce you to our proud Griffin. This is Merlin, vulnerable protector, venerable protector of the Academy and the beating heart of Griftenstein. He has watched over our school for centuries and is always there when he is called upon. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Maybe you can even pet him. <laughs> I was afraid of that. Don't worry, Merlin is always skeptical of newcomers at first. Once the two of you get to know each other a little better, he will become more trusting. Oh, it's getting dark already. You best go straight to your room in the living quarters. I will see you tomorrow. Best go straight to bed, I'll see you tomorrow. to do here. Chess set. So basically the school is called Griftenstein and its mascot is a griffin. God, that was terrible. Paul is not going into the courts. <laughs> okay, let's go to the living quarters.
Moving quarters. Now it's a top-down view like this, isometric view, um, and it is roguelike, but it's the actual game hasn't started yet. It'll start after I've gone to my room and sleep, gone to bed in that. My bed, my bag, got a doorway that leads to someone else's bedroom. We've got our own private dorms, that's nice. Okay, something happened in the night. Attention all students, this is your principal speaking. As we speak, an unknown force is trying to enter the castle. No reason to worry, the castle's defences work like a charm. Nevertheless, I have to ask you all to report to the security schoolyard, secure school, schoolyard immediately. Your teachers will secure the school and assist you. Be on your guard. So basically, this is how you play the game, this is how your character works moves around wherever you point your mouse is where he points I've got no magic at the moment so I can't use anything I can focus on a target but there's nothing more I can do about it and there's a book here for me you read it chapter one telekinesis telekinesis is a simple but versatile spell this spell allows you to move a target by sheer willpower without even touching it Make sure you keep a firm footing and focus on your target. Maintain the spell and imagine yourselves moving the target object instead of your body. Okay, so I'm guessing I've already used telekinesis on this tree. That's to unblock the door. Jason, I'm glad to see you are well. The whole school is suddenly crawling with magical creatures, causing all kinds of trouble. Do you see these ma those main doors? They close automatically and remain locked as long as intruders are present in an area. They are only open once all intruders have been defeated and the area has been secured. Oh, and I'm being summoned. Alas, I cannot accompany you back to the schoolyard, so you will have to fend for yourself. Are you familiar with the magic missile yet? It is a very simple stay focused. It's very simple. Stay focused on your targets and think about how much you want to get rid of it. <laughs> I really need to get going now. I'll see you in the schoolyard. Ah, typical of all these wizard... Wizard, um... People. Oh no, Harry, you can handle it. I'm going away. Oh, same thing here. Hi, oh, Jason, you can handle it. I'm being summoned. <laughs> you can also charge up your spell. Every time I do this, I think, Flipendo! <laughs> Every time I do that, I just think, Flipendo. Keep on saying, Flipendo in my mind from the old Harry Potter games. Hey, we've got someone here. Ah. 
window. Oh, next victim over there looks like a fire top enemy. Yep, he's a fire top. That ring that he makes, you must make sure you're out of range of it, else it kills you. Or it does damage to you. Depending on your health, it kills you. <laughs> and basically, wherever you point the mouse is where your character will face. There's no music, I have turned it off. Just in case there's a copyright claim on it. Now basically what happened there was if you look on here it shows green plus red equals explosion. So to open the door I had to kill all the enemies. So I had to pick up the green or the red and drop them onto each other to cause them to blow up and then defeat them, so the door opens. Oh hey, you there. Good thing you're here. Lost schoolmate. As you can see, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Clumsy me, forgot to bring along my wand. <laughs> Without it, I regrettably can't, can't do anything against this armadillo, but surely you can help me out here? You must have noticed what happened to the thing when it rolled against the wall. Armadillos show their vulnerability, their vulnerable bellies when stunned. Make sure you give the beast a good whack at just the right time. I'm sure there'll be a piece of cake for you. Watch out, it's waking up. So basically you got to make him run into the fountain, knock him onto his back and then shoot him. Also that little ring is your mana when it runs out, you can't cast spells. you got to wait for it to recover. Excellent, I knew you could do it, Robin Peters. Just like this armadillo, each creature has certain weak spots. If you find these and exploit them, you can make any beast vulnerable and defeat them with ease. Use your spells creatively and observe carefully how, being, how beings react to them. This way you'll sooner or later find all the weaknesses. Thank you for saving me. I haven't even introduced myself yet. I'm Robin Peters, second year. You had to be saved by first year, did? Oh yeah, but you did say you forgot your wand. I'm sure you've heard of me, always looking to solve tricky cases. What do you think? Should we work together and figure out what's going on? With your magical talent and my masterful detective R, I'm sure we'll make an unbeatable team. I'll go on back to the schoolyard and get myself to safety. Meet me there, and I'll help you solve the mystery surrounding this attack on our school. There must be another way in. Okay, we've got two blue lights here. This door is sealed. Don't think I can enter that door.
Ach, Kendrick Foster. Let's do this happen. Okay, there's someone to talk to. Hello, you must be one of the this, this year's newcomers. Let me introduce myself. Dr. Theo, Theodore Octavius Pott, supervisory teacher for the first year students. You may skip the doctor if you like. Oh, and Octavius too, please. <laughs> Evidently, there's another one of these nasty creatures in this area. You seem to know how to defend yourself against such intruders. So how about a new spell? Take your pick. Okay, I can choose Jostle, which is an offensive spell. Produces a shockwave to forcefully push away targets in front of you. Entities that move too fast or cause a cause and suffer appropriate effects on collision, charge the spell to increase the range and force of the shockwave, artifacts you find may modify the spell in various ways, transform yourself into a swift and tiny mouse to avoid detection by hostile creatures, swift entities have increased movement speed, transformed entities transform back when damaged, okay you find oh, levitate, enchant the target to levitate it, making it airborne. Airborne entities cannot move. Charge the spell to increase the duration of its effects. I think I'll go with Levitate. I've already got an offensive spell. Ah, splendid choice. I have one essential lesson for you. You can find magical artifact you can find magical artifacts all over the castle. These artifacts are items that modify and enhance some of your spells while you are carrying them. There's a hidden room next door with such an artifact. Your students think it's a secret, but what you might not know is that I hid it there in my own student days. Ha ha ha. By the way, that is not the only secret to be found here in these walls. Be that as it may, the artifact in the room will modify your new spell. This will make you fight for the, with the intruder, fight with the intruder a breeze. However, the entrance to the secret room is locked behind a riddle, so you have to use your wit to find your way in. I'll give you one last tip before I have to take my leave. Follow the lights and you will be enlightened. Okay, so that's the levitate spell. I just saw two blue lights. <laughs> While the rest are all red, so I just touched them. <laughs> Vertigo inducer. Levitate artifact. Levitate interrupts confuse. Levitation interrupts, confuses, and even stuns its targets based on how long you charge it. Confused entities cannot target anything. Okay. Yes, that's it. I have a store. Yeah, this creature is quite, uh, quite a challenge. Levitated the creature and then just blasted it. <laughs> Shows the levitate thing here. Okay, I think this is a boss fight. Supposed to lose this fight. Excellent. My teleport traps are working. Everything is going to plan. Well, what have we here? A lost little hatchling? You must have fallen out of your nest. Too bad your old griffin patron isn't here to protect you. Prepare for your end. Oh, you can't 
you can't win this fight. Ouch. 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 You can't win this battle. You're not supposed to. That's what your arrogance gets you. So it's really quite pathetic what has become of the school. I hope the next one you send will be more of a challenge. So you're not supposed to win that fight. Like I said, it's roguelike. You are the real deal, Jason. What a cool entrance. Thanks again for saving me from that rampaging armadillo. Whatever's going on around here is pretty suspicious, don't you think? I have a feeling we'll solve this case together. Would you mind going back to the castle to look for more clues? Should be a breeze for you with your magic skills. Why don't we figure out what happened together and hunt down those responsible? Get back to me when you've discovered something new. Before you follow that good instinct of yours, you should talk to Professor Vin. Our little detective is right. Your entrance was truly impressive. However, I don't think Robin understood its significance. You need to know one thing. You only stand before me because Mer Merlin gave you one of his mighty feathers. Whatever you encountered in the castle wanted your demise, and Merlin's feather prevented the worst. It all began tonight with that strange explosion in the spires. Since then, Merlin and the principal have disappeared without a trace. I hope they are both well. I never thought I would see this magic of a griffin feather myself. It is said that a griffin's feather carries its owner to safety when they are in mortal danger. Merlin seems to have suspected something even before tonight's incidents occurred. You should keep that the secret to yourself. There are people in the world who would do terrible things to obtain the power of a griffin's feather. However, there is one, advan there is one advantage to this whole you are now free to explore the castle without having to fear for your safety. Nevertheless, prepare yourself. Well, after all, you will have to fight your way through. Please visit Dr. Pot and learn a new spell. He is waiting for you in the middle of the schoolyard. Yeah, so basically what happens is you go through, you build up those blue orb things, um, you get defeated, you come back to the beginning, start again but whatever blue orbs you obtain you keep and it gets added to your total you use your money at the top here to buy new spells to upgrade your health to upgrade your your mana stuff like that like i said it is roguelike so you're going to die a lot hello jason nice to see that you are in one piece it seems the last spell i showed you was quite useful I'll be happy to teach you more. Visit me anytime. Okay, but now he's charging. <laughs> oh, 
I'll take Drossel. Excellent, Jason. I see you, you and Dr. Potts are getting along pretty well. Before you leave for the castle, I have some important advice for you. Once you have gained enough experience, you can visit us professors to improve your spells. For example, I can teach you enhanced forms of the telekinetic spell and the magic missile. The griffin's effigy in the center of the schoolyard even allows you to permanently improve your basic stats such as health or mana. You can now explore other areas that border the schoolyard the atrium and the par par promenade. There you will find more schoolmates, magical devices and access to different student factions. Would you mind keeping an eye out for lost schoolmates inside the castle? There must be some who are still trapped in the different parts of the castle. I'm sure that if you rescue them and later visit them in the schoolyard, they will gladly share their valuable experiences with you. Oh, one last thing. Don't be surprised if the castle appears unfamiliar each time you enter. The magical defense mechanisms ensures that areas are constantly rearranging, resulting in a crazy maze. Have fun in the castle. Okay, I completed the first story act. I can switch my flex spells, so I can have levitate, or I can have that one. I've also got a smartphone. map shows me where everything is. We've got a collector's guide. I've also got a beast tree. Got bosses, got characters I've met, and schoolmates. Hey, it's you, Jason. Well, there's one upstairs to the whole, there's one upside to the whole affair, no exams. I'll tell you something else. You are, you can enable local co-op at any time while you are in this hub. Visit the landing platform and use the co-op beacon to call a friend. Like I said, the game is co-op. But I didn't have friends, so we're playing a single player. Hi Jason, how are you? I was so excited about the new school year, and now this. Shh, I have a secret for you. If you lose all of your health, you will be defeated. Shield health protects your health from being depleted. If you are defeated while in the castle, you run, your run will fail and you are returned to the schoolyard. You can abort a run at any time via the pause menu to return to the schoolyard. When a run ends, you will lose all of your collected gold artifacts and potions. You'll never lose earned experience, learn spells or unlock upgrades. Like I said. It's rogue luck. Whoopsie. <laughs> hey Jason, thanks for your help. I hope you can save some of the others from the castle. Can I share a hint with you? Your spells all have unique and useful artifacts. Combine them uh, effects. Combine them to creative ways to achieve powerful synergies. Artifacts are very powerful items, especially when combined with others. You should always try out the ones you find to learn about their effects and possible synergies. Keep an eye on your surroundings to discover useful objects or features that may offer you a great advantage in combat. I'm talking to these people that's giving me experience. Whoopsie. Yo, Jason. Cool bumping into you. 
I'm new here too. Maybe we can hang out sometime. How about a helpful hint? Always stay in motion during combat to avoid getting hit. You can use objects and obstacles as cover. Targeting foes or objects can be a challenge in the middle of combat. Try and play around with different controls and targeting settings to adjust them to your player's style. Okay, well I guess we're going to go for our next run. First, a complete giraffe at the Academy of Griftenstein and we're welcomed by the Elder Griffin Merlin, the protector and living symbol of the castle. On your very first night, a powerful explosion rocked the spires. Savage creature, creature suddenly descended upon the school, but there was no sign of Merlin or the principal. You encountered a mysterious figure as you made your way to safety on the, of the schoolyard. He's a master of dark magic, wanted to dispose of you with a very powerful destructive spell. You were only saved from certain demise by the powerful magic feather given to you by Merlin shortly after you arrived. With the help of your classmate, Robin Peters, you set out to solve the mystery surrounding these events. Thanks to Merlin's gift, you alone are equipped to face the threat now lurking in the castle. Doing our second run. We've already got an artifact here. Yeah. Dubious firecracker. Just the hits all targets around you. Are you still taking roots or starting to outrun them all? Magical endurance run with creator now about Barrow. Every Wednesday and no dawdling. Okay, so it's an artifact. <laughs> it's an advert. this machine out. Ow! I was trying to run past it. First run isn't going very well. I'm already down to half of my life left.
but also when the creature dies and they form this, don't walk into it, it poisons you. Put some gold. Gillen Grey celebrates a special anniversary. She has been the principal of the Academy of Griftenstein for 40 years. Read about her career in our featured story. I read about her career in our featured story. So our headmaster is a female. Our headmistress is a lady. Our principal is a lady. Seems very good. One way we can go. It's this way. Wall to defeat. The painting shows King Ludwig the Seventh. Abdication and voluntary transfer of power. It is on it's one of history's most defining moments. This is where I entered.
can't get to that. I don't know how to get to this. There's a bank here. It's got some supplies in it. Even on hot summer days, please do not freeze other students or body parts. Danger of death. I can only go down here because it's the only way out. Ugh, we've got another boss coming up. I'm not going to survive another boss fight. survive the boss fight. I lasted 11 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I lasted 11 minutes. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do one more, and then I, sh I might end the video after that. I don't think I can upgrade anything. No, it's a thousand experience to upgrade, and it's 500 to learn a new spell, so... Hi, Jason, nice to meet you. I barely made it back to the schoolyard before the castle was sealed off. Did you know? Spend your earned experience to learn new spells and prove them or unlock character upgrades. Upgrading your spells will make them more effective against your foes. Against more powerful opponents, deeper in the castle, the spells require more improvements for them to be more effective. You can permanently improve your character's stats like health or mana at the Griffin Effigy in the schoolyard. Now, I think it's quite expensive. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, it's expensive. Okay, well, got another run. Speak to this person. Hi, you must be Jason. We are very lucky to be safe here at the schoolyard. Have you heard? Always observe your foe's reaction to attacks and spells to learn about their weaknesses. You can exploit them to make them vulnerable and defeat them more efficiently. You might not always find the right moment to damage a vulnerable foe in the heat of battle. However, exploiting their weakness will take them out for a short time, giving you time to breathe. Okay. So we didn't get to any bosses this time round, so that hasn't been updated. Now we're going to start again. Okay, magic missile. Magic missile projectiles travel faster, it will also pierce targets, obstacles, and even be become unrefined. Flexible based on how long you charge it. Okay, well that's nice. Well, we've only got one place we can go, and that's through here.
artifact is helping. I'm killing things a lot faster with micro missile now. Off the pendo. Okay, we got two exits, three exits we can do here. I think this is where we came in. No, I don't think this is where we came in. I think we came in over here. I'm not 100%. Yeah, we came in over here. So I've got three places I can go. Super clip and slap. Jostling charges more quickly and can be used in quick succession. There's also a couple of places I can go here. I can't go there. I oh, know I can't. I can only go one. Through here. Well equipped. Acquire two artifacts during your run. Puzzle over here. The king. king takes all adjacent squares. Find this safe square to check the white king with exactly one black piece without being captured. Got to figure out how to beat the king. The rook takes, vert takes vertically and horizontally. Find the safe square to, ch to check the white king with exactly one black piece without being captured. Okay, so the rook can only go straight. Okay, the horse goes in an L shape. The knight takes a square exactly two squares away from it, except those that are vertically and horizontally. Find the safe square to check the white king. Okay. Bishop can only go here. If I 
put them there, the king can take them. If I put them here, the castle can take them. Hmm. This is proving to be quite difficult. Okay, the bishop can only go like this. It takes two screws in front of him. Goes like that. King can take him. Bishop can take him. Should the horse go there? There? Ah! That's correct. Was the horse. The horse goes here and he can take him. He can't get taken by any piece. So the king would have been in check. Would have been checkmate. That's my very little knowledge of chess. I'm not very good at it. But Joey said he can take two squares in advanced and then the bishop can only take uh, uh, vertic vertically, can only take diagonally. The horse can take over there, over there, over there, the castle can take there, there, or there. So the only solution was the horse. And I did it. Okay, I've got an exit on the side here. Found somebody. Hey, you don't expect to see anyone else wandering around out here. I am Anton Gold. Yeah, um, that surname's a bit dodgy to say on YouTube. CEO and eager co founder of Colford's Col Colford's Shop and Services. My brother, Emil, and I have just launched our business and are promptly, are promptly everything starting. Going to everybody. Bureau. That pesky incident at school has thrown quite a spin in the works for us. Are you students? You're not wearing a uniform. All our inventory and savings have been scattered across the castle in the commotion. So if you find any golden troves and lucky bags, then, there's, then their contents are probably part of our startup capital. <laughs> I can offer you a few leftovers until we have rebuilt our supplies. If you want to help us rebuild, you should talk to Emil in the schoolyard. I'll let him know to meet you there. Okay, so I can buy stuff from him. For gold, I don't have any gold. This would be nice. It's just a random potion <laughs> and a random artifact. It doesn't say what it is. Okay, well, I found him. That's nice bad. Unfortunately, I've got no gold at the moment, so I can't buy anything. Well, I must admit, we're doing better this round than we did the first one. Okay, I can't get you there. Go all the way back and take another door because that one seems to, the rest of those doors seem to lead to dead ends. So I'm assuming we've got to go out here. The pendo. The pendo. Okay, 
Okay, that's the end of the armadillo. <laughs> But that's just telling us about the principal. I've just been principal for 40 years. Got some gold, but not much. is a little bit hard to use but I'm, I'm slowly learning it. <laughs> it basically just shows this and it shows stuff around it doesn't show you exactly where your character is. to be enchanted by others instead of putting them under your spell our career guidance will find you talent beyond mere magic you can hear a creature ow places we can go here again we can go through this door or we can go through that door let's go through this door God, that thing's got a range attack is the new head girl. You can read what really makes this daredevil tick and other exclusive interviews as soon as we have been able to conduct it. Hopefully she will soon return from her expedition in the secret rooms of the academy. Okay, so she's gone missing. So I'm guessing we must look for her.
Okay, so I've got an invisibility potion. Lightning rod, levitate artifact, levitate electrifies inanimate targets for its duration, electrified entities deal damage and stun on contact. It's going to shout for a bit day each time down. I see what it means by the electrifies them. I see. I'm so used to in the early Harry Potter games, your only offensive spell was Flipendo, and each time you cast it, Harry, and they would go, Flipendo! 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 And I just, this game just reminds me so much of it. I'm like, Flipendo! 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 Okay, that's where I came from. Oh no, that wasn't where I came from. That's where I came from. I haven't been here. Well, this is quite a long run I've been on this time round. Last 20 minutes. Unique book on black magic stolen from the archives at, of Griftenstein. Dark magic toad vanishes overnight, brazen thievery of misfor thievery or misfortunate loss. Okay, so that's what those guys were here for. They stole the dark magic book. Hey! 
Pendo. The Pendo. I think this has been my longest run so far. If I do face the boss, I'm not going to survive. Not too far for heart left. But hey, I'll win, win pretty far. I made it pretty far. Oh, we got a boss coming up. Nice. I'm not going to survive this attack. Trying to make yourself look big, act the hero, and earn a nice award for yourself. You look far too weak for that. You'll never stand in the way of the crown. Guy's more interested in boosting up his slums than actually fighting me. Well, I must admit, 25 minutes versus the boss, didn't beat the boss, nearly did. <laughs> got a lot of experience, got total pursuit points, I lost a lot of gold, I found 3 artifacts, I solved 1 secret, and I defeated 26 enemies. Damn, I was hoping I was going to beat that boss, I was so close. Hello, you must be Jason. Very pleased to meet you. I am Emil Goldfuss, CFO and proud co-founder of Goldfuss Shop and Services. My brother Anton has already informed me about you meeting in the castle. I'll show you the first option you can help us with. Ooh, investment opportunity, healthy bags, portal network. You can use your magic map to teleport while exploring the castle. You can teleport into any previously entered special entries or exit areas. Now, also offers a variety of consumables. Now, has a chance to also contain a red heart. Now, allows you to invest gold in exchange for credit. Just like experience, you will not lose credits when you complete a run. You can use credits to purchase permanent castle upgrades. Oh, that's place. We'll take that because it's free. I've got no money. 
but now we will actually be able to keep our money. It's really great that you support us doing this business. From now on, you can exchange your gold for credits whenever you meet Anton in the castle. Return to me when you have earned enough credits to invest in more opportunities. Here's to successful partnerships to a successful partnership. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that look at spells and sorcery. Uh, it's a, it, as I said, I, I did have a bit of beef with the developers. Their previous game was not very nice, and I let the developer know that the game wasn't very good. But um, this game seems all right. I like the. I don't normally like roguelike, but this game's got a got potential. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. Little bits and pieces. I do like the fact that you can create your own character, which is, I'm always happy. I'm always fine within a game. I love any game where you can create your own character. As soon as there's a character customization, you've got my you've got my attention. I love character customization in the game. Character customization, the character creators, I absolutely love it. Well, that ends spells and sorcery. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is only a demo. The full version is out. It came out on the 9th of November. Um, it's as I said, it seems to be an interesting game. I'm just not a big fan of roguelike. Wait, this guy's got something to say to me. Let's talk to him. So you met another one. They call themselves the Crown. You say this is something I have never heard of, but it sounds very suspicious, like a real secret organization. I wonder what they're up to. Maybe we'll find out if you keep investigating the castle. Okay. So, I um, hope you enjoyed this look at spells, spells and Secrets, and like I said, it is available on Steam, you can get it, um, it, is, it came out on the 9th, uh, if you like roguelike games, it's quite interesting, I like the whole magic involved in it and all sorts, reminds me a lot like the early Harry Potter games, aside from the roguelike, <laughs> and the weird targeting system. But to me, it's, it's actually a very nice game. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time with my next video. Have fun and enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye for now.